I'm just in the middle of doing a beam build video for the Lanchester Rat Rod project um, and I was having a real fight getting the, the needle bearings out the end and um, I, said, I tried using a, a jimmy bar to pry them out I even tried making my own slide hammer to knock them out from behind um, but they weren't budging so in the end I went on eBay and bought uh, a cheap pin of bearing puller so I've got other, another one, an older one but it's a slightly different design to this and I, I couldn't get it in there um, and it kind of occurred to me that it might be a job that some people think looks quite scary and complicated and using a bearing puller and look at that contraption but it's really really easy so I thought I'd do a really quick video just to show you how easy it is to, to use it and how easy they come out I just want to show you the basic principle of the, the first part uh, while it's outside the beam because once it's in there it's quite hard to, to see what's going on I guess uh, so you've got your bearing obviously that would normally be installed inside your beam or inside your wheel bearing or whatever you're trying to pull it out of so you've got your, uh, your puller you pull that into the, the bearing hole now when you tighten down the end here, if you can see the spreader there pushes down into the three fingers and it opens them up. So they just open up at the end. So they've opened up here, they hook around the back of the bearing and grab tight. So that's how it's going to grab hold of the, the actual bearing. So I'll just attach it now and I'll show you how to do the next little bit. So it's a little bit of fiddler getting it in there. Fortunately there's no other lips apart from the bearing to grab hold of in the, in the front beam. So that's on. So we're going to slide the legs up. And try get them on a nice flat surface, try and get them nice and central. Just going to nip them so they don't spin and move. So you don't need to tighten them too much just to stop, to stop them moving. So I have a bad tendency for over tightening things. I've been trying to retrain myself over the last few years to not do that. Okay. So effectively what we've got now. And say so you've got your, your middle part on there which is opening up the spreader down the centre. So I'm just going to give that a little nip just to make sure it's on there nice and firm. You don't have to go too crazy. I actually dented the end of the spreader going a bit crazy on the last one. Okay. All we're going to do now is we're going to hold the centre still. So the big long one down the centre we're going to hold completely still and then we're going to turn this one here which will pull up uh, the centre section and hopefully pull the, the bearing out of the, uh, out of the beam. Bearing's gone though, come in. Really is as easy as that. I've just flipped the beam round and I thought I'd just show you from the other side at a slightly different angle in case you couldn't quite see. So I'll try and get my fingers out of the way. Bit of a fiddly one. So you wobble it round, you can feel when it attaches on the back of the bearing and it hooks on. arms up, try and get them central, nice and flat,
Okay, so the arm's nipped up. Just going to give it the middle a quick nip to make sure it's on tight. And then theory. Turn the middle one. Help if you bring the better secure, better, uh, more secure location than dangling over the edge of a table. There we go. Easy peasy lemon squeezy.